So friend, is there any stages of a mentoring? Yes, of course, maybe there are the many stages of a mentoring, but we are seeing here very few of them. What are they? It can be useful to think about the mentorship in the term of a developmental phases. So, first is the stage which is very important in mentoring stage that is the connection or we can say that the commencement. So, this is the first several month of the mentoring relationship when the both mentors and the mentee are getting to know each other and sitting front of each other they are trying to find out what is the personality, what is the problems, what is the issues and they are trying to understand each other. In this first stage, maybe there is the some expectations from the mentees also. So, what is the mentee can expect during this phase that also very important as a mentor point of view. So, first I think attention and the coaching is most important as per the mentee. The mentee will have a skill gap and uh, ensure the uncertain of him or herself. So, they will require more coaching, more guidance more counseling, more mentoring. So, attention is very important in the first stage student point of view. Feedback is the another stage which is expected by the mentees. So, mentees are there to learn and grow. So, they will require a lot of feedback at this stage. Next is the acceptance and the confirmation. So, yes friend acceptance is very important in between two persons as a mentor and mentee they will have a greater need to acceptance and the confirmation that when they are more adopt at the necessary skill they wish to develop. Challenges, yes of course, challenges also are important in mentee will need to challenging assignment and other learning opportunity which in turn could make them more enthusiastic and uncertain themselves. So, Next point is that we will discuss on that the cultivation or a relationship building and implementation means second stage which is the cultivation which comes under the relationship building and relation implementation. The fixed and longest phase of this mentoring relationship, the active and the productive period of the mentorship is called a cultivation of a mentoring. This phase of a process focus on a working at the relationship in a deeper level. This is a reflected in a increased and interaction on the level of a self disclosure. Yes, when as a mentor we are trying to cultivation with the relationship of a mentee. So, that time mentee also expected something from his mentor. So, what the mentee can expect during this phase? Yeah, instruction. Instruction providing the mentee with clear instruction which are communicated clearly is really important during these days as it helps reduce fear, anxiety, frustration that could be arise if this is not done the correctly. Next might be the mentee trying to see towards the mentor about his feedback. A mentor acts as a mirror in which the mentee's growth learning, strength, weaknesses should be reflected. Mirroring is a mentee what the mentor see and observe it is very important and the powerful from the communication and feedback that empowers the mentee's role, empowers the mentee's response and those reflection so that he or she can choose to grow himself or herself. Assessment. In the phase of this second stage, students expected from mentor assessment. As the end of the relationship, compression assessment of a mentoring journey and the mentee will be take a place. This assessment is to be determine whether the objective of a relationship have actually met or not till the level of a competence and competence growth. Next stage is the separation. Yes, this is the one of the stage where this stage is relationship between the mentor and mentee requires a less guidance from the mentor 
due to an increase is the level of a confidence and competence. The mentor being to be play a less directive role in the mentee's ability to make the decision and its being an action to further his or her growth and development. Yes, because some stages comes in mentor's life, they did not need to give a more and more explanation or a guidelines. So, redefinition. Redefinition is the point where when mentoring connection continues after the separation, the relationship must be redefined to fit the new circumstance. So, with these phases, principles and stages, shall we move towards the what are the good characteristics of a successful mentor? Yes, there are the different psychological characteristics that are the desire a mentor. For example, selfless, approachable, non-judgmental, determined and tolerant have a unquestionable personal and professional integrity, personal power and a personality. Mentor should be always respectful, good listener, willing to share a knowledge, willing to allow the growth, sound communication, honesty, diversity, outgoing personality. Yes, of course, good mentor should be play the role model for continuous learning of a mentee. So, hopeful and optimistic approach of a mentor is very, very essential in mentoring process. Good mentor should be empathetic and sensitive, commitment to the own role, able to establish rapport with the mentees and high energy level with this all process. The mentoring relationship is an interactional one filled with the expectations from mentor and mentee alike and as a such bring out a complex web of a conscious and unconscious need within the both parties. So, there are they some specific role of a mentors and the mentees are very very important. So, these need increase the various roles both mentor and mentee are consciously negotiating within the context of the relationship. The success of any mentoring relationship is largely depend on the emotional question skill of a interpersonal self awareness and the interpersonal awareness. So, this is the important and as per this we will move forward about the what are the roles of the mentors and that time what is the role of a mentee. So, suppose if mentor is playing a role of a parent then mentee should be a learner. If suppose mentor is trying to be a teacher and he is trying to be mentoring as a teacher, so that time mentee should be a role of reflector. So, same is if mentor is an inspire, listener, storyteller, that means that time mentee needs to play his role as a communicator. Always mentor play a role of a model, role model, that time mentee should be a interpreter for that particular role. So, there is the relationship between the mentee and mentor. So, this is the dependent upon each other means mentoring as the giving and receiving of a wisdom within the wave of a relationship we can say that.